All right, so pardon the mess, pardon the sweat. This is just part of working in a telescope shop. So what I've done is I've taken um, a mirror box, what will be a mirror box, down from the area that I sticker the stock. Sticker is when you just lay them as flat as possible and put some weight on top to keep them flat. And uh, again, over time, that wood is gonna do what it wants to do. It's going to move. There's still moisture in any of this wood, no matter how dry it is. But our goal is before I get it to the joining up phase, I mean, the, like the day before, I'm gonna make sure it's dead flat and then I'm going to joint everything and cut the joints, glue it together. I do all that rather quickly. But over the course of four months, five months, depends on when the customer buys the telescope, what time of year it is. Right now, we're entering uh, summertime, so it's extremely humid. So I'll probably be tending to this stock more often than if somebody were to have it in the wintertime. Doesn't matter if you buy in summer, winter, spring, or fall. It always takes the same amount of time, a long time. That's how long it takes me to build a telescope. There's, there's a reason for this. This is why I'm making these videos and showing. So I took this piece down. This is a beautiful piece of uh, cedar, and this is for a 16-inch telescope. So it's cut just a little bit long, just a little bit wide, and just a little bit thick. I'm letting the wood do what it wants to do. Now, looking at it from there, gosh, that looks almost dead flat steel, which makes me very happy. The less it moves, the easier my job is. But what I'll take is I make winding sticks. Usually I'll make a pair of these every three weeks, four weeks. I never finish them um, because I'm gonna make them dead flat and parallel. The day I do it just takes a couple minutes. So real, real pretty wood. I just now flatten these. So these are the exact same size. They're dead flat and parallel both sides. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stick one on the end and I'm gonna stick the other on the other end. Then I get down at this angle. I close one eye like I'm looking through a telescope and I see where I can see that back stick peekabooing through. And to be honest, gosh, it looks dead parallel, but it also lets me see that I have a low spot right here. Now, what's cool about this is that low spot continues down the entire board. So I'm gonna leave that alone, and I'm gonna take the high spot. I'm just gonna take about a couple shavings, and I'm gonna make it dead flat again. The bottom, I'm just leaving alone for right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Well, here, maybe you can see. Maybe I can show you and you can see where it isn't. Do you see that space right there? Can you see that peeking through? Let's just pretend you're me and we're looking down to see how parallel those sticks are. Boop, just about perfect, am I right? Boop, okay. So I'll be boring and film the uh, hand planning process. All right, maybe you can see me there. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna remove these. I remembered about right here over. I'm gonna look at the grain. So I've got grain that changes direction. So I'm gonna have a spot where I get some tear out, which is fine. I'll, uh, I'll make that tear out nice and perfect the day I joint it. So I just leave it alone. All I'm thinking about is get it back to flat. Let's try this. Always oil your tools, keep them from rusting, makes them glide nice and smooth. All right, you see I'm taking these super fine shavings, okay? My hair out. I'm going to check it with my plane. Ooh, almost there. Almost there. And we're there. 
Okay. Now I'll put the winding sticks back on. Make sure I didn't make a mistake. And we are back to flat. Let's see if I can show you that. Doot, 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 doot. Pick a boo. We are flat. So now I will take this, set it aside. It goes back up in the drying area. It's basically on stickers like this. And then you've got the other pieces on top of that and then wait on top. And we'll wait another few weeks. We'll get it flat again. That is the process, folks.